What's going on guys? This is Paul from BearcatWarehouse.com. Today I have a video on showing you how to download the Sentinel software, make edits to your favorites list, download the favorites list from the scanner, and more. Hang tight, we'll cover this. First thing we want to do is go to our website, BearcatWarehouse.com. And this will apply to the BCD 536, 436, SDS 100, and 200. So for the sake of the video, we're going to go to the SDS 100 page to download the software. So up at your web browser, you can choose, you know, ever, whichever model you want for this. So for this, we'll do SDS 100. We'll click on the product. We're going to scroll down the page till we see downloads, manual, software, fixes, forms, and more. We'll click on that. And then we'll click on PC software. Once you click on that, a download will start for the software. Once the download's completed, open it. You'll get a setup wizard installer. So what we'll do is just follow the prompts here. So click next. Agree to the terms and conditions. Select the file folder you want for this. Click next. Click next again. It's going to install and then click close. Next thing we're going to do is double click on the BCD x36 sentinel.exe file. It's going to open up into the software. Then we're going to click update, update master hpdb, and it's going to download showing you that it's updating the database. This will take a couple minutes, so just bear with the process here. All right, then you click OK when it's finished, and you're all set with that. All right, for the next part, we're going to click Update again, and then Update Firmware. Make sure your radio is connected with the USB and in mass storage mode. Once it's connected, you hit Yes to put the radio in mass storage mode. Once it's completed, click OK, and now your firmware is up to date. For the next part, we're going to read from scanner. So click scanner, then read from scanner. Make sure the scanner is connected through mass storage. Click OK. Now you're going to see your favorites list on the left-hand side. Whatever favorites you have saved on the radio will now appear in the software. You can click on them, make sure all the frequencies, channels are all in there, but you're all set with that. All right, for the next part, we're going to edit favorites list. So click edit then edit favorites list, select the desired favorites list. Once you do, the editor will appear. So you'll see some options like quick key, number tag, but we wanna go down to a specific uh, agency here. So you'll see the alert tone. You could set your alert tone to whatever tone you want. There's nine variations. There's the alert light. You can select your alert light color here. You can also do a volume offset, so louder or softer. And then you can also select priority channel here, if you like on one of these channels. You can also change the name of a selected channel here. So if you double click on it, it will allow you to like highlight it and then you can just kind of name it whatever you want if you need to. All right guys, and that's how you added a favorites list. All right, for the last part, I'm gonna show you how to make a favorites list. So you click on database up at the upper left, click on your state. I'm gonna go with Baltimore City. I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna click on countywide systems, click on Baltimore City, I'm gonna go down to police. And then I'm gonna highlight a whole bunch of channels that I wanna add to a list. So you can just copy them all like that. Then right click and click append to favorites list. We're gonna click the create new favorites list button, name it what we want, then hit okay. Now we can close up the database, scroll down all the way to the bottom and you'll see our new list listed there and all the channels we want. 
So now, if we want to put these into the radio, we're going to right click on our favorites list. We're going to make sure that monitor on is turned on and download on is turned on. Once we do that, we click scanner, click right to scanner, make sure it's in mass storage mode, and then click OK. And then the writing process, that might take a, a little bit of time, but just bear with the process. All right, once it's finished, click OK. And that's how you create a favorites list and add it to the radio. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, consider liking it and subscribing to our channel. If you need a radio, check us out at BearcatWarehouse.com. We have all the current models in stock. We offer to program them, have accessories for them, and quick shipping. And then if you have any kind of questions or inquiries about if a radio is going to work for you, reach out to us at admin at bearcatwarehouse.com, our online chat system, or simply give us a call. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.